This is my board that I write at with my characters. I just kind of put the big, broad characters up there and, and then I let them go out and play when I'm writing. I let them have their way with me, which they do constantly. <laughs> I was born in Swaziland, which is a small, independent country in Southern Africa. And my book is about the murder of an Afrikaner police captain. I set it in 1950 South Africa and my main character is a detective sergeant called Emmanuel Cooper and he comes from Johannesburg to investigate this murder. It was influenced greatly by my parents' lives because it was during the 50s that they were really pushed to the margin of society. When my parents uh, went to get married, it was still illegal under British law for a non-white person to marry a white person. And we are the result of something that apparently is never meant to happen in South Africa, which is that race is mixed. It really determines uh, how people view you, it determines what you can do. You know, these sort of humiliations press down on people very hard, which is why, you know, my parents came to Australia in the early 70s. This is my matrilineal line of my ancestors, starting with my great-grandma Lizzie. I used to be a filmmaker, primarily. I wrote film scripts, I worked on lots of different films, and then I ended up doing a feature-length documentary for the Special Broadcasting Service, which is SBS here in Australia. And that was, you know, a phenomenal experience. <laughs> The documentary that I made with my mother was called Servant of the Ancestors, which took my mother and I back to Swaziland, meeting people who had grown up with her and hearing their stories. And it really gave me a chance to really understand my mother and, and I guess understand our history a lot more. And after that, I really felt um, freed up to write. Or, look, I'd always secretly, desperately wanted to be a novelist and I just never, I never had the guts. But uh, going with her and seeing the things that she did while we did this documentary just gave me the courage to say, I can do this.